Hey guys, welcome. Um, I just got this guy today. This is the MPM 14 Bone Crusher. Uh, this is um, my, don't, I don't collect many of these, but uh, I have a love-hate relationship with Bayformers. I hate the movies, but I love Transformers. So uh, join me today as I take them off the box and I transform him. So let's get this guy open. I always open them from the bottom. At this brand new. I actually got two of these. Uh, they, they went on sale at the time of shooting this video. I got one from Target for uh, 98 bucks. So let's see. Let's see. Instructions. Nothing special, just uh, looks like eco-friendly paper. Oh, something fell out. Uh, looks like a lot of steps. Maybe one to be exact. Yikes. I saw somebody else unbox this guy, and uh, oh, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, this is not something you're gonna keep, right? I mean, this is probably, just keep the box. I mean, I'll keep all this. I've always been a box keeper myself. Uh, I don't know why, but because I sell them or whatever, but uh, oh, there he is. And uh, let me get this guy out of here. So let me start with this box. I've already kind of, I cut the tape off so I wouldn't struggle with it. So I want you to experience, I guess, you know, how it comes packaged. So there's one and there's two. I mean, just wrapping paper, nothing special. Um, I mean, this doesn't really feel premium. I mean, the packaging anyway, at least inside. But I mean, I get why they do it. Okay. This off to the side. Put it in here. I guess you get all the sweepers. Cool. I used to own the uh, Dream Factory a uh, long time ago, which was a really nice bone crusher. I sold that a while back, and then I saw this one. This one got pretty good reviews. It's the Flame Effects. Look real neat. Meet my dog Pixie. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so let me run through accessories real quick since you got to meet um, Sik uh, Suki and Pixie. Um, but you get five flame effects which I think they're only for 
robot mode. So that's what I like about Hasbro and Takara Tomy. With these MPMs, they have a lot of accessories. So we may be interrupted frequently with uh, Pixie, mainly Pixie, honestly. Here, let me show you. Pixie, look, say hi. <laughs> so she uh, goes to the window a lot. to go crazy. Uh, and then here are the sweepers. I think these two are for robot mode. And then these two are for vehicle mode, I'm guessing, and we'll find out. You do get to... This is the one where Optimus I kind of face punched him in the first movie. I'm not sure what this is. I'm, we'll play with that later. And then this is the extension to the sweepers. And let's go ahead and get him out of the box. Okay, so let's see. Let's get rid of these. Tie downs. Make sure he doesn't fall. Oh wow, these are. You know, I, I actually liked the first movie. Um, then it got a little ridiculous towards the end, but that one I thought had the most potential out of all the movies. Um, and then two wasn't bad, and I felt like they just got worse after that. I just, it was just hard to watch. Um, I would love to see, ooh, there it is. Like a true redo of a G1, the original 80s. Let me move this down a little bit. I'll attach all the stuff there, just a second. Oh wow, look at this. This is my first time looking at it. size the wheels aren't rubber okay that other dog is suki there's some uh, effects there oh that looks really good nice heft not too heavy not light um, feels good good. Uh, that bone crusher seen in the highway with Optimus Prime towards the end of the movie is iconic. One of the uh, most entertaining scenes of the movie in my opinion. But uh, it was awesome. So I'm glad to have this guy again. All right. Let's see how this is. these on. There you go. But um, this turns and I'll mess with them here just a little bit. I don't want to move anything like you're not supposed to and break something but just wanted to get you an initial look to see what it looks like. Um, and then I don't have a lot of the movie. I don't collect a lot of the movie Transformers. I mainly have the G1 uh, masterpiece type. Uh, but I do have the Black Apple Optimus Prime. I can compare it to that. Uh, now I'll probably compare it to some of the G1s here in just a little bit. I 
don't have a lot of vehicles in alt mode, um, but the couple that I do have, I'll compare it to this one just to give you a size. Uh, this is X Transbot's big load. You can kind of see. Just size. I have a Studio Series Cup. <laughs> uh, I'm cross comparing here with uh, transformers that don't even apply to the, the same uh, genre, but it's okay. Uh, let me get uh, my Black Apple Optimus Prime. Give me one second. And uh, guys, I'm not going to transform the Black Apple Optimus Prime, but you kind of let me back up a little bit. I mean, too big, I'm sure. I'm sure they're, the KOs are already working on it. They're gonna oversize this guy, I'm sure. Uh, looks like a little too big, but... Um, although the Black Apple isn't the biggest oversized Optimus Prime, I mean, this may work. Uh, and I'm not gonna transform, I'm sorry. Uh, this is just my robot mode Optimus. So you can just kind of see how they compare in size. But yeah. So that was a long transformation, uh, but I enjoyed it. Um, it was a lot of steps, but uh, everything, I mean, it was worth it. Looks really good. To go from this right here, right, to go from here to here, uh, I mean, Hasbro's doing a really good job with these. Uh, let me get a little bit closer. I think this is the only die cast on him right here. These little uh, spheres. To me, those feel like die cast. I think that's it. Uh, the rest of it is plastic. And uh, I love how these window panels just kind of go around. I just think that looks so cool. That looks neat. Very well done. I know the movie doesn't have a following like the G1, and uh, myself included, I mean, I prefer uh, G1, but these are fun to transform. Uh, their engineering that they're doing on these are really good. Very, very stable. Uh, down at the feet, it has four prongs that come together very well. And I mean, this guy is not going anywhere. I mean, he's not gonna fall down. Looks menacing from the front and the back. Just looks really good. I mean, that just looks, uh, they hit a home run. They did a good job. So there you have it with the flame effects. Um, they come pump pretty good. Some really good, some not so good, but I mean, they don't fall off. I mean, you can see that uh, they could pump pretty well. Um, I think it gets a, it gives a fun factor, um, playability. It looks neat. I don't think I'm gonna pose it with the flames, but uh, I like the addition of the uh, six flame effects. I think it looks good. Take a look around. Like it. So now, um, let me compare them with uh, Optimus Prime. I only have one transformer really to compare them to, and that's the black apple that I showed you earlier. So let me move him to the left just a 
little bit. Let's see how they look together. You know, I do have to say, uh, I thought the Black Apple was going to tower over Bone Crusher, um, since he is an oversized MPM4, but I have to say, um, that doesn't bother me. I'm okay with that. I'm willing to compromise a better MP4 version, the Wei Zhang, uh, to have these two together and I'm okay with that it's not I thought I was gonna tower over it kind of maybe like a black mamba might um, but I have to say this does not look bad I, I know it's not to scale they should probably be maybe head-to-head -head, and I'm not an expert I you know I don't know what uh, their official heights in the movie are but like I said to me that doesn't look bad I'm okay with that okay with that. I could... Uh, Bone Crusher has a big... or he's kind of bulky horizontally that it kind of makes up for it. I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm gonna... I was a little concerned that the Black Apple would be way too big. But um, I can see these two guys you know, going at it. That's... Uh, that's good enough for me. Uh, I'm sh like I said, I know they're gonna make an oversized of this guy. I'm sure, but that that's one thing I like about the Black Apple is that he's not way too big. That yeah, this might be a little too big, but it's not obscene, uh, you know, uh, unsightly oversized. Uh, it's just 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 a little bigger, and uh, that's okay. It looks doesn't look bad. In case you're wondering what it looks like with the uh, black apple, uh, there you go. I don't know, I don't have the MP04, the original, anymore, but uh, I have that. And, uh, like I said, I think that's, I can live with this. I can live with that. That's good. All right, let me get this guy out. Well, there you have it. Uh, my final take is I highly recommend them, especially at the price that I got them for. Like I said, at the time of doing this video, the uh, he was on sale at Target um, and he was $98. So I would go out there and get them for that price. Uh, if you're waiting for the KO, it's probably gonna cost you about the same or more. So for 98 bucks, an official Takara Tommy Hasbro product, uh, that is a bargain. So I think original price is $164. So if you collect the NPM lines, I highly recommend them. Uh, the transformation is long, but it's fun. Uh, it is rewarding when you get to the end and you go from the bomb sweeper to this. It is, it's one of those transformations that you just feel good at the end. Uh, it's worth it. So again, go out and get them and I highly recommend them. And thank you for watching.